Liam Smith and Chris Eubank Jr. will run it back. AO Arena, Manchester, live on Sky Sports box office. What shot was the miracle? Uh, the miracle was you walking away with a win over me. Make no mistake, <laughs> this next fight here, I'm going to be a different animal. This is a fight where everything is on the line for me. It's do or die. Uh, I am backed into a corner right now. You put me in a sticky situation. I fight my way out. And that's what's going to happen Saturday night. Eubank Jr. Ready to walk straight back into the fire that burnt him. Revenge or revenge. Those are the two options. What's your final predictions then? I think uh, Chris Eubank uh, Jr. will stop Liam Smith. Oh, I don't know. I, I want Eubank to get it. It's one of those fights. Uh, to me, it's whoever composes himself. The first one's out the window now. So if Liam's banking on that, it's the wrong thing to do. It's a new fight. I would say new arena, but it's the same arena. But I'm not sure, you know. I'm not even sitting on the fence, but I can see any type of... Um, I can see any type of... Uh, what do you call it? Any type of outcome. outcome, that's the one. I think we get repeat tonight, but I think we're going to see a much more, you know, improved junior. I, th I feel like it's crazy for a rematch. I feel like there's so much more on the line this time for both lads than what there was in the first fight. The last fight was amazing when the last fight was serious. You get me, there was a lot of action involved. And obviously last time I predicted Eubank. Obviously Smith come out on top last time, so he's giving himself like high ratings for this fight. Hey, he's got a bad back. Eubank might have come down a little bit of weight, do you get what I'm saying? So it's a 50-50 one for me. And obviously, who I want to win, I want Eubank to win. But like I say, Smith's northern power as well, do you get what I'm saying? So it's up north stuff in it, do you get what I'm saying? So we just gotta see what happens tonight, man. You know what I mean? Well, for me, I think Smith, I think Smith's gonna gonna grind it down. I think he's He's got that pedigree, you know, from the amateur, he's, 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 more, he's well schooled, he's, he's more relaxed than being in big fights, the occasion won't get to him. How do you see it going, Amir? Um, look, it's a 50-50 fight. Um, a lot of people are going to say Smith because obviously I think he got the win in the first time and he looks a stronger fighter. Uh, but now with Bormack training, um, obviously I need to show a bit of love there, you know what I mean, Bormack training, Eubank. But look, I still feel Eubank has got a lot of power, he's got that speed. If he catches him early, you don't know where the fight can... Whether for what can happen in the fight. So, look, it is a 50 50 fight, but I do lean more towards uh, Smith, just like Kel said. I want Eubank to get it. I want Eubank to get the win. But I've said Smith, and I like to stick to my words. I'm going with Smith, but I want Eubank to get it. I tell you what, man, it's uh, not an easy fight to pick. You lost the fight because you got nailed. And the miracle was just how easy it was. What did you say, Chris? You've never been hurt. I hurt you. You've never been dropped. I dropped you. What was said, what was done previously, I'm not even focused on. I don't care. Uh, all I care about is the preparation I've had, which has been excellent, and the performance I'm going to have on Saturday night, which is going to be uh, exquisite, supernatural. It's going to be a beautiful artistic display of savage boxing and uh, I cannot wait. What's that? What can you do different? Oh, well, you guys are going to find out. I'm massively confident, even more confident in this right now. The more y'all heckle and the more you talk shit, that don't do nothing but light the fire underneath his ass. I promise you. territory. I'm, I'm fighting a guy who has a win over me. I've never been in a rematch before. 
uncharted territory does bring a, a you know, a, a kind of fear. What's it going to be like? How am I going to react? How am I going to be emotionally once that bell goes? It's all new, you know, it's exciting. Eubank Jr. ready to walk straight back into the fire that burnt him. George for Eubank, there can be no mistakes tonight. If he doesn't turn this around, his career as he knows it is over. When we get back in that ring, he's got to remember the last time he's done that ring. Same venue, same results, same you know, same outcome. I was confident beforehand, and you know, I said I beat them once, I beat them twice, and I still stand by it. So the ring clears. And the equation here is simple. Eubank is fighting for his career. Smith is looking to end it. Repeat or revenge. So scheduled for 12 or fewer. Smith in the blue and gold. Eubank in the green, gold, black and white. Sharper work from Eubank. I mean, Smith goes down, but no knockdown there. Something we've got from Eubank on the inside. Good work. That's better from Smith. And again off the back of the jab there, Eubank. He looks for that uppercut. And he's finding some decent shots here, Eubank. Really there. good shots there from Eubank. And it didn't feel like he's putting 100% effort into every one of them, where he's wasting energy hitting Smith's gloves. Good combination again there from Eubank at the start of the round. Just committed to that, got his feet close, and now he's looking to set about Liam Smith here. Revenge or revenge? Those are the two options. Yeah, I feel like Liam needs a good round here to just try and quench the fire that Eubank's got. Getting too confident here. Oh, good shot. The cut from Eubank, put Smith down, a rueful smile on his face. The gum shield has come out, but again, Eubank there just sat down on that punch. This is a big, big round for Eubank. Yeah, massive round for Eubank. His confidence has gone through the roof here, boxing with real authority now. Big left hook landed there, just above the ear. Massive round for Eubank. Any demons he had from that previous fight, that's out the window now. He's very much in the driver's seat here. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Smith just trying to bob and weave, but he's on the run here, Liam Smith. He's in trouble. Eubank again, just finding a home for that right hand. Smith backed up to the ropes. He cannot get out of the way at the minute, and Eubank sets those feet wide. And he needs to punch back. Go. Referee's up. He's looking. He needs to punch back, Smith. Eubank keeping the pressure on, Smith just weaving one way then the other but he's got to offer something back here eventually manages to get hold of Eubank and turn him on the ropes. It looked like the end could be nigh. This feels like what I thought the first fight was going to be. There's no urgency from Smith. Oh great round for cut from Eubank. Liam Smith, he's got the thousand yard stare in the corner there, man, in between rounds. He knows that he's in big, big trouble here. This will be an incredible, incredible turnaround after what happened here in January. So many wrote him off, he would have questioned himself. There would have been some long, hard searching nights of the soul for Eubank. But he's answering the critics tonight. This is target practice for Eubank now, who just looks to tee off. Trying to chop down with that right and that left. Smith just firing back off the ropes. And down he goes. The glove touches down in that blue corner. He's looking at the referee. One glove on the canvas. Waits for the count of eight. Oh. Eubank chopping down with the right. Smith trying to stay out of the way. And the referee has stepped in and stopped it. Liam Smith doesn't like it. But it's a decent decision, and revenge is sweet for Chris Eubank Jr.
Congratulations, a wounded animal is a dangerous animal. In this very ring, back in January, your career looked to be over at this level. To do that tonight, in those circumstances, can you try and put that into words for us? It is revenge. It had to be. I had no other choice. There's too many other big fights out there for me that the, uh, the fans want to see that I want to be involved in. I had to beat Liam tonight. Um, you know, I threw so many punches, the, the lettering on my shorts fell off. It's incredible. But um, yeah, listen, uh, Liam is a warrior. I respect him, I respect his whole, uh, his whole team and his family and his brothers. They always come out, they always put it all on the line. He didn't give up, he fought to the last, uh, into the last second. So uh, yeah, big up to Liam and his, and his team. I do need a towel now. Yeah, though. you got a towel for Chris? I know I threw Rim, most of them Rim, away. Where's that towel? I do need we a towel. We didn't bring any? Yeah, we got it. You said no towel. Time to go to work! All right, where are we at? We're here, Chris, this one. Okay. Chris, congratulations. Boxing's full of highs and lows. You had the low last time, but the high this time, how good did that feel? Yeah, it's been the journey over the last, yeah, seven, seven months. Um, but I knew I was always going to get there. There were a lot of doubters. There were a lot of people that didn't believe, you know. Um, I had to go out there and prove them wrong. It's what every fight has to go through. You have to go through trials and tribulations. You have to go through defeat and come back stronger. I'm targeting anybody and everybody. I want, I want the big names, I want the big fights. Um, I've worked hard, you know, and uh, there's a lot of great things out there in the sport for me left to do, even at 33 years old, you know, I'm still fresh. Liam, commiserations, well, immediate aftermath, um, what went wrong there tonight? Um, just everything, mate, start to finish really, I just never, never got going, just flat. From the start, Chris was sharp from the start, that's, that's all I can really say. Too heavy, I mean, I took too much weight off him in, in a short space of time. I think it was, um, obviously it was, I don't know why, but it was well documented. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, after the, after the back injury, probably started too, too heavy, with, with too short time to push towards September 2nd to get the rematch on, but that's it, really, that's all I can put my finger on. Another incredible night at the Manchester Arena. Thank you to Liam Smith for giving us two of the, the best nights that we've had. I just couldn't, I, cu I just couldn't get going. I feel, I feel the weight killed me. No, as I, like I said before, just flat from the get-go. Chris was sharp from the get-go. It was Chris's night tonight. I, I won't make no excuses like blame, blame, blame and no ankles. Um, but yeah, it's 1-1 one, one now, so we'll see what happens next. I'm just saying that on, on my part, that's my that's my performance. I'm not taking nothing away. This is obviously Chris's night. I, know I, I had my night in January. I celebrated it well. This, I'm not taking nothing away from Chris this time around. This is his night. I had to fight some demons, you know. There was a lot of... Um... There was a lot of things to prove, you know, people saying I'm shot, people saying I'm, I don't have it anymore, I'm Chin's too gone. old, chin, punch resistance is gone, all these things I'm seeing and, um, you know, I, I, had to, I had to live with that for six, six months, um, knowing that it wasn't true. You know? um, so yeah, that was that was tough. You know, this is the first time I've ever been in a rematch before. Um, but you know, like I said, I I, uh, I enjoy new challenges. I rise to the occasion when I have to. Friends turned opponents to a Britain's best light heavyweights, Dan Aziz, Joshua Buasi. There can only be one. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our chief support bout of the evening. Fighting out of the red corner, here is the assassin, Adam Aziz! Beginning rounds are important. Oh, good left hook. Yeah, got close there. Double underneath, closed the distance with his feet. Oh, good left hook there from Fanyan. Good shot there from Fanyan, just as Aziz was letting his own right hand go. Aziz with the right hand on the inside as Fanyan came in. It's a close fight, this. Okay, you see him launching that left hook from far out. Okay, he's not throwing his right hand. 
hardly. Yeah. So just go boom, come in on the right, on the yeah. right hand. Bang there. So into the eighth. Is he looking aggressive here? Lined up that right hand a couple of times and now does look for the left hand to the body. And that's really the first time we've seen him keep his feet in there when he's thrown that one to set them and look for that left hand. I think he's looking to try and turn up the temperature in this eighth round and punish Fanyan a bit. The left comes back from Fanyan. Azim stays out of the way. He's flicked a switch and the corner I think must have let him off the leash. And another good, very valuable 10 rounds in the bank there from Adam Azim. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision. It's still undefeated and a new WBA Continental Super Lightweight Champion, M. P. Assassin Azim. Firstly, I'd like to praise all on our first for the victory. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for coming down. Uh, to uh, come and watch me as well. This fight was dedicated to my granddad, so who passed away, so this was for him. And uh, let's get that European title. Yeah, sympathies to the family, well done tonight. Thank you. It is now time for the heavyweights. Fighting out of the red corner. Here is Fraser Claus. There is already barely an empty seat in the house here. A steely stare off. They know each other well, so they're scheduled for 10, a heavyweight. I think Fraser just wants to keep it long, keep him on the jab, keep bagging these rounds until he can work Alan out a little bit, maybe soften him up a bit too. Looking for the left uppercut almost off the back of the longish right hand there, Clark, and he's just tried a few different things in this second round. Alan's already looking a bit more aggressive, actually, at the start of this round, George. He's, he's trying to close that gap and then get away with that big overhand right. Solid uppercut there from Clark. Alan took it pretty well. So many old man tactics coming in now. Alan, the smaller guy, but just great right hand over the top. And right on Fraser Clark's chin. He's back those first five rounds, but he's had a two-point deduction there. And Alan this time again gives a reaction, but Mark Lyson decided that one was OK. Nice uppercut there from Clark, and this is just beginning to catch fire a little bit. Great uppercut there from Clark. Nice long right hand. Alan was just moving backwards as it landed, and then he just looks to try and sling that right hand in around the back of the guard, and he's putting his foot to the floor a little bit here, Fraser Clark. Yeah, that was better from him. He used the feint, stepped in, straight right hand. David Allen, I think, has retired in the corner, essentially, as he was on his way back to the corner there, George. He did kind of shake his head a little bit at Jamie Moore and Nigel Travis. A conversation was had, and that is, that is a retirement. Referee Mark Lyson calls a stop to this contest at the end of the sixth round. Declaring your winner due to a corner retirement and still undefeated, Fraser. Ladies and gentlemen, we now move to our first championship bout of the evening. It's scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds and is for the British and Commonwealth Super Middleweight Championships. Well, when this card was set, this was a fight that just jumped right off it for all of us. It's got everything you could possibly want. Two local fighters, big ticket sellers, former gym mates, and the British and Commonwealth titles on the line. Congratulations, the spoils of war. You said what you were going to do and you did it. Yeah, man. Um, well, <laughs> I, we, stuck, we stuck to a game plan. At the end of the day, I caught him in the second and um, I just stuck to the game plan, stuck to the game plan and he done, done him in the third. 
Um, but yeah, listen, it's a dream come true winning a British title. It's every boxer's dream, um, and I'm not just done it. I'm not just done it. I've done it. I've done it. Done it. Done it. Done it. Good, Anna. Um, done it for a third round stoppage. Is that you a boxer fighter now? Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Where's the contract, isn't it? Ben Shalom, are you listening? Um, <laughs> listen, congratulations, night. Enjoy it. Yeah, thank you, Val. Appreciate it. Well done, man. Quality, mate. Enjoy it. I built a big name for myself, and I've done a lot for the sport, and I want to continue to, to take on big fights as well. I'm at that stage in my career where it's, it's, about, it's about the right fights and putting on the best fights I possibly can. What have you done? Answer it now for the camera. What, take away your fancy TikTok videos, your cameraman, and what have you done? He will have some nightmares after me. Nightmares? You are full of it, aren't you? Like I said, if your hands were as good as your mouth, you'd be a world champion already, but you're not. Try to keep me away with his job, and then Florian will go inside and bam bam! <laughs> Two punches. Yeah. Okay, you. Everything said in the below, all, yes. all part of the game. Was, you know, I was feeling bad when your father was in there and I was rubbing the, the, the hands and they, they was asking me what you have to say about Dylan. I couldn't say nothing no, because no. me, I respect my elders, you know, my family. And yes, yes, when you was you was there, I was feeling bad, you know. Bro, all part of the game. I wish you nothing but health and happiness. Me, me go too. forward. Yeah. I wish all that go yeah. forward. Thank, Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Very much. Yes. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will be for one week hey, for sure. Hey, hey, you drink, you drink and kissing together, you know, fighting together. You know, I just want to, you know, start pushing on and and climbing the ladder and going for them world titles. Obviously, another step up, a great experience. That's what I'm going to look at now. You know, I'm learning all the time. And uh, I knew she was a tough girl. Obviously, in the build-up this week, I haven't really had anyone, you know, tell me they're going to knock me out and hit me with. If I hit them with two punches, they're going to hit me with four. This, that, and the other. It's all, it's all games, isn't it? But it was good to experience, you know, for the future. Um, but the biggest thing for me in there was obviously just staying calm and listening to my team. And yeah, I thought obviously round by one, I picked my shots and um, yeah, happy with my performance.